and what's going on girls and guys it's your boy GZX Tyson and I'm back with some more Firefall and uh, yeah welcome back so I've moved on uh, quite a bit on Firefall and as you can see I've got a new grenade launcher and also a new color for my uh, for my battle frame um, I just thought it was about time I, uh, I kind of changed my battle frame a bit Aside from that, I've moved on from Andreev Station. My visit there was quite short-lived, but I did tend to complete quite a lot of the missions or the, the ARES missions that were around there, as well as other on-the-fly missions around there as well. So it was pretty cool uh, at Andreev Station. I've moved on now to the forward operating base Sargan. Now, this is a completely new place. I've not took any jobs here, and it's for my level as well. I've leveled up to level 32 now. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, I've really jumped up a couple of levels, and I'm uh, I'm not too far away now from actually um, getting to level 40. So I've got eight more levels on my assault. Um, this place is uh, is quite a small place as well. It's not too massive. It's just a cool, neat little base. Um, you know, you've got your your job boards inside the uh, inside the building there. There's a couple of bikes outside, so this is pretty much a parking place for us uh, for us guys just to kind of come in and get some jobs and just rest for a little while. So equipment. What's changed? I've got a electrical Dragonborn cannon. Uh, the Dragonborn uh, cannon is actually an assault type weapon. I actually bought the recipe with with the tokens I was earning from Andreev Station, and I built the Dragonborn cannon. There's three different varieties of the cannon, which can give you uh, better attack and more options for the modules. But I just went for the basic one because I didn't want to spend a lot of time picking up the titanium that I needed to actually build the Dragonborn cannon. It's a great cannon though, it's the power. Much more powerful than any of these weapons that I've got here. Um, it's a little slow, it's about as slow as the other powerful launchers I was using, but it does great damage. I've got a rapid, uh, rapid fire module in there and a long mag module. So I've got more ammo and as fast speed as I can actually get with the um, with the cannon itself. BK's around. BK. I'm not sure if you know what BK is. If you don't, it's the bro uh, the Brontardon King. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. It's gonna get pretty laggy though. So. So here we are, that is the Brotodon King right there. It is one huge massive beast and it's quite popular for people to hunt it and battle it. Um, I believe you get lots of EXP. It's charging a massive ability at the moment. When you see that huge massive ring in the ground, that's when you know you need to kind of get out of the radius of that. So. Um, there's chosen as well as um, all kinds of beasts around here. Oh damn, energy systems offline. Um, that's something that happens when you're within range. It's got some kind of massive powerful ability. It's got me down again. Um, it just stops me from actually being able to use the battle frame ability of uh, jetting off into the air. There's quite a few snipers around here. It's not very safe at all. And as you can see, pretty much everyone is here to get a piece of this boss. Wow, I can barely see. Uh, there's a sniper over there, gonna see whether I can actually uh, take him out. Or not. And I say this battle is pretty epic. I really mean it's epic. Everyone is shooting. Look how many people are around here just chasing this thing off try and get out of the range. I don't really need to get that close. I could stand all the way over here all day if I wanted and I'd be pretty much safe. Whoa, snipers have got a really good handle on me there. I can see the sniper over there. 
Whoa. Thing looks angry. Might need to put that anger down a little. Okay. Got a sniper around here. I think he's just been taken out though, so that's good. There's a lot of chosen around here. Um, they're definitely getting in the way. That's their favorite thing to do when the BK is around here, which is the Brosodon King. Looks like it's charging up its ability. It is hectic. This thing's going to take a little while to go down. I don't even know why I used that. Didn't need healing. As you can see, damage-wise, doing pretty big damage. About 5k apart. Now, one thing that I've been told, um, which is oh, <laughs> If I use my crater from very high up, it does a lot more damage on impact. Although that thing kind of died before I could even impact it. Wow. Got to watch out for all those little rocks there. Well, I wouldn't say little. They're kind of massive. Don't know where the Broton Kong, uh, the Broton, uh, Bro Brontodon King has gone. That is very hard to pronounce. All right, so. Ooh. Gonna have some pretty massive speed here, although I've been absolutely knackered up. There we go, nice. Using the um, the injector along with my attack speed buff. Try and get out of the area there. Don't really need to be that close anyway. That thing is huge. You could probably hit it from space. <laughs> I want to go in and use my HKM, but to be honest, I'd be doing more damage with my launcher from back here. Um, so I don't really need to go in there and take any unnecessary risks at all. Although I am kind of out of ammo, um, but hey, he kind of popped up to say hi. Not doing very good damage with a secondary weapon there, but I'm doing damage, which is good. Uh, I could really do with some ammo. If that's something that might be around here. I'm seeing health, health, health. Uh, ammo. Usually, um, usually you can actually find ammo just sitting around, uh, which can be very useful. Let's use my HKM on these guys and crater. Oh, cool. It's good. I have no idea what I just picked up, but I picked it up anyway. And he's going in for MLA. Ah, oh, nice. That is what I'm talking about. Alright, so continue jumping into that Brontodon King there. I mean, this is an event that happens quite a few times a day. Um, a lot of people like to do this. I think for the EXP. I think. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Um, but I'll see what kind of EXP I pick up from this. I think uh, what I might do just before it's going to go down is activate my EXP boost as well, uh, which is something that I can uh, I can add in there just to kind of get a little more EXP. It's not that far off. It'll make sense doing it right before he pops. That way, um, I get a good feel of that EXP. He's down to one bar there, and really need to uh, yeah. Activate the boosts. Oh man, did it just in freaking time though. Oh no, guy went down, where is he? He's around here somewhere. Oh, what a time to die though. Poor guy. Is he back up? He's back up. Took a bit of a hit, but he made it. <laughs> so got a widened uh, shockwave there. Dunno, oh, wait, 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 I may be able to use this one, that may be a great upgrade, and um, I've got some pretty sweet EXP as well, so that is pretty nice. There's an Ares mission not far from here, but uh, I'll tell you what, I'll go and check it out. You never know what could be going on. Hi, 
the explosive round.